Millie's little daughter Jonah is her lollipop these days. The spring of 1964, when she shot to world fame with that record, seems a long way off. A second hit never came. Years of touring followed, and before long, Millie was penniless, sleeping rough in London and eventually ending up in a hostel. But she bubbled then, and she bubbles now. Millie doesn't even acknowledge she's had some bad times, and there's certainly no bitterness. But you ended up actually having to sleep in a hostel, you yeah, had no man. money. Yeah, man, yeah, that's all experience. It was great. I didn't worry because I knew what I was doing. I chose it and it was very interesting. I see how the other half live for choice. It's not that I was feeling sore for myself. It's something I chose to do. Do you have any regrets about that? No. Island Records have re-released My Boy Lollipop as part of their 25th birthday celebrations. It's currently number 50 in the charts and going up. So what if it's a big hit again? Then I can say, buy Lollipop, and then I can come back with my own new version of myself and my world. And two-year-old Jonah is clearly the most important thing in Millie's world just now. Would you like her to go through the same sort of experience that you've been through? No, she's been through it with me in spirit. What if she wants to be a pop star when she grows up? She will do whatever she chooses, will be right. She's her own teacher. I am just a mother teacher to her, okay? Millie is hoping that Lollipop's revival will revive a new music career. Here's an impromptu rendering of one of her new songs, Sugar Plum. Oh, my sugar plum, tell me where are you? I've searched the whole world through. I still I can't find you You left me all alone And now I'm sad and blue Waiting like a fool for you dun, 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 ding, ding, dun. I did not sleep last night 